Okay, hi there, welcome to a uh, quick video looking at six past paper multiple choice questions covering the important topic of aggregate supply. Here we go. Question number one, which one of the following is likely to decrease short run aggregate supply? Which one of the following is going to cause an inward shift of the short run aggregate supply curve? Please press the pause button, have a go at the question, and then when you're ready, press play, and we walk through the answer together. So of those, A, B, C, and D, which is going to decrease short-run aggregate supply, the answer is C, an increase in the raw material and component costs. If you think about the building industry, for example, the cost of cement and bricks and other key raw materials and components. If you think about the, the market for bottled water, the increase in the price of plastic, etc., uh, D, an increase in corporation tax. Of course, corporation tax is not a tax on cost, so therefore it does not affect short-run aggregate supply. Increased unemployment would likely reduce demand rather than supply, and improvements in the state of technology would cause an outward shift in long-run aggregate supply. Here's question two. Good question, I like this one. There is a rise in appreciation in the value of the sterling exchange rate. Other things remaining the same. What's the likely effect of an appreciation in sterling? Uh, there, there are your options, A, B, C and D. Take a moment to press the pause button and have a go. So the pound has gone up in value that the sterling has appreciated against the euro, for example, and particularly perhaps against the US dollar. Uh, what's the impact? Well, a strong pound makes imports cheaper and exports dearer, spiced. Now, cheaper imports means there is an outward shift of aggregate supply, but because exports become less price competitive, one might expect to see perhaps a fall in exports, which would cause an inward shift of aggregate demand. So the answer to question two is C. Here's your third question. A good question, recent past paper Question, the diagram shows aggregate demand and supply in an economy. The initial equilibrium point, the macroeconomic equilibrium, is at point E. And the question is, what causes shifts in the aggregate supply curve from AS to AS1 and from AS to AS2? Take a moment, as always, to press the pause button and have a go at this question. So we're looking for two shifts in aggregate supply. AS1 is an inward shift. AS2 is an outward shift. And the correct answer is D. Uh, shortages of skilled labour likely to increase wage costs, causing an inward shift of aggregate supply. Improved training, improving the human capital of the workforce, likely to decrease costs. Uh, for example, increase productivity. And that would shift the aggregate supply curve out to the right. Question four, the position of the long run aggregate supply curve for an economy depends on what? Four options, A, B, C and D. Have a go, please, at question number four. Long run aggregate supply, of course, is essentially the productive capacity of the economy, productive potential. And the best answer there is A, the size and quantity of the labour force and the size and quantity of the capital stock. B and D really drive aggregate demand rather than aggregate supply. And inflation, well, that could affect short-run supply in terms of cost inflation, for example, but not long-run aggregate supply. We have two questions left in this video. Here's question five, the penultimate question. Again, slightly trickier, this one. Which of the following will cause a movement down the short-run aggregate supply curve, contraction of S, R, S, followed by a shift to the left of that curve, a decrease or a fall in aggregate supply. So we're looking for two shifts. Well, sorry, a movement and a shift. A movement down the aggregate supply curve and then an inward shift of aggregate supply. Press the pause button, please. Have a go at question number five. So the answer here to question five is D. Deflation, a fall in the general price level, would cause a contraction down the short run aggregate supply curve. Producers have less incentive to supply when prices of goods and services are lower because the profit margins are weaker. And a currency depreciation, a fall in the pound, 
uh, increases the cost of imported components, raw materials and energy that causes an inward shift of aggregate supply. And here is our last question. Hope you're doing well. The position of an economy's long run aggregate supply curve might be determined by all of the following except. So in this question, we're looking for the odd one out. One of these factors that has no significant bearing on the position of the long run aggregate supply curve. Can you find which one it is? A, B, C or D? And the answer to this question is A, imports of consumer goods. Imports of capital goods might well have an effect if a country is importing technology. But imports of consumer goods, of course, A, uh, AD is C plus I plus G plus X minus M, affects aggregate demand rather than supply, whereas all of the other three, innovation, productivity and investment, do impact on long run aggregate supply. Well, if you got six out of six, you are absolutely on top of this uh, topic, on top of the material, You're in great shape for your assessments. And uh, well done. I'm going to be posting some more of these little videos with six questions to have a go at. Stay, take care, stay safe, and hopefully see you back very soon.